Well, good morning. Welcome to Seaford Old Channel. Hey, this is Chris speaking. I got some sleep, people. Check it out. Sun shows, Sun News shows, Stone's Throw astronomers missed enormous 3,300-foot asteroids circling near Earth for decades and blames its strange orbit. So it's saying it hasn't seen this thing for decades, right? It's doing this elliptical orbit. So it's 0 0.6 miles wide and orbiting near the Earth. Now I'm going to show you something I caught in 2017-2018. Okay, watch this. So people say they want to see the truth, right? I found this thing, I think it was July 2017. I started in, in June 1st looking for Planet X. Never heard of it, never found it. Let's check this out. So I found this face-looking thing. It about freaked me out, people. It took me five days to process it because I couldn't believe I found it. Remember, I didn't believe in Planet X. I didn't know about it, really. I wasn't awake at all. I didn't believe in UFOs. I believed in Jesus. I believed in miracles. I believed in the power of God. But this kind of stuff, you know, it was fantasy, you know. It, it's like I didn't know about the giants so much. I knew the Bible talked about them. But I never really investigated the Book of Enoch or the Book of Jasper. But... I just want to show you this, people. I tried to decloud, or not what I call declouding, but I tried to remove the sun splotch there. So you'll see it removed, and it's kind of pink, so there's nothing I could have got. But um, it's definitely not Photoshop from the FAA cams in Canada. Uh, <clears throat> I can't even tell you the location of this because I basically hit it. I lost all this original footage. But I had someone tell me it's a nubular. Um, not our skies today, but what's her other lady's name with the real soft voice? What's her name? What's her name? You guys tell me. But see how I removed some of the sun there and turned pink? That's because it's not photoshopped. It's not fake. Um, but I wanted to see if I could see behind it. Now, there it is pulled out. This thing's no joke, folks. This thing is like a six-mile <laughs> six wide rock, you know? Uh, they're saying, you know, they're saying in this article, and I'm going to show it to you. They're saying that this... Uh, asteroid thing that looks sort of like my face asteroid here whatever this thing I caught I'm glad that article came out because I get to show this again and say what's this come on people I'm just saying look at this thing you can see the UFO thing on the bottom right right there that's not a mountain see that little UFO tried thing right there put a little red on it you know and this is an old footage but look at this TRBs there's three of them I didn't even know what TRB threes were now I now I know this TR uh, B two A's and all kinds of stuff. Uh, there's all kinds of new spaceships that we have out there. We have no clue. <laughs> Let's go back to the article. So okay, so the astronomers they missed this huge asteroid. Okay, we have telescopes that watch both sides of the sun. How did you miss this huge asteroid 2019 LF6? Come on, people. That's insane. I mean, NASA thinks that we're that stupid. Are you serious? Come on. I feel like Paul Begley now. What? Seriously? Come on. Are you serious? It's got an elliptical orbit, and they're saying that, you know, be careful because when you see it two hours before sunrise and two hours after sunset, you're probably going to see this thing, and don't be confused because it's this thing we've never seen before because we've been out in space since the 50s or the 60s. Okay, so newly discovered asteroid has the shortest orbit of any known asteroid. And it's saying here that this LF6 is very usual both in orbit and size. Unusual. Its unique orbit explains why such large asteroid eluded several decades of careful searches. Careful searches. The asteroid has an elliptical orbit, so it travels way outside the area in which the planets in our solar system orbit and actually gets closer to the sun and Mercury than Mercury does. So it's saying it's affecting everything. Now here's our asteroids that might hit Earth. Okay, so if you guys want to read through that, stop it, you know, have at it. It's all technical. It's all way beyond my pay grade. Hey, hey. But you see the asteroid I showed you, folks? That was real. I didn't make that up. I could barely write letters on the movies at that point. The European Space Agency has put together this list of potential doomsday asteroids. As Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun, the asteroid's orbit is very impressive. The researchers... Wait, wait, wait. 
the researchers was saying the researchers think that the asteroid could have been slingshot out of the common plane of orbit when it came to the gravitational disturbances of Venus and Mercury. Yes, we discovered 2019 FF LF6 using a camera that rapidly scans the mighty sky, the night sky. It searches for signals that indicate moving asteroids. Well, so they're saying they missed this thing. Oh my God. So the asteroid is more visible 20 to 30 minutes before sunrise or after sunset. So now if you do see, you know, Nemesis, the dwarf star, beside the sun, sunrise or sunset, it's telling you that you're going to start seeing it. And it's that this is the asteroid that we have missed for all these years as it does this elliptical orbit, just like Planet X, Planet 9, and all these guys. Okay, so here's NASA. Here's Sun reporting what NASA is trying to lie to us about again. Again! Woo. Come on, people. I could sit here and just be angry about this, but you know something? I'd rather show you some more truth, all right? So, you know, 30 years ago, it says people started actually organizing these asteroids, and here's the names of them, and... You know, an asteroid is a small rocky body that orbits the sun. A meteorite is a doesn't vaporize completely. So yeah, that's interesting. You could read about that right there, guys. And it's going to show you this little movie, but I'm not going to show you that little movie because when I try to show you that little movie, watch what happens. Uh -huh. I lose my whole picture. So let's go on to the next thing. Now you check this plasma burst I'm showing you right here. This, I believe, is a direct plasma burst. Maybe A2 or one of the leading planets, but, you know, and this is the till green it throws, and then all of a sudden you get this plasma burst. Um, just check it out. What you're also going to see as we go along on this video is you're going to see a forensic part of the show where I show you something on the moon. It's, a, it's amazing. I don't even know what it is. That's why I need you guys to figure it out and comment and chat about it, whatever. But keep watching. I'm going to throw some music up.
Revelation 6. And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts saying, Come and see. And I saw, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see! And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see! And I beheld, and lo, a black horse. And he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny. And see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, Come and see! And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death, and Hell followed with him, and power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword and with hunger and with death and with the beasts of the earth. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth. And white robes were given unto every one of them, and it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season, until their fellow servants also, and their brethren, that should be killed as they were, should be fulfilled. And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood, and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every free man, hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? And from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? So you've been watching this uh, moon shot. And the guy on Facebook that I was talking to was telling me that was, you know, they got this shot. It looked like something hit the ground or it came up out of the ground. So I did the thousand times, you know, magnification. And I cropped it and then I dehazed it. And then I took it and I threw it through this. I did a bunch of still shots of it. And that's one of them right there. You can see the obstacles around it. Right there is that alien thing. Right there. Right there. You know, so you can see the obstacles floating over the ground. One has light coming out of it. Um, it looks like about five or six saucers, and then that one's an orb. You guys need to share this. Doesn't see. 
So what do you guys think that is? I think there's spaceships there. I think there's an orb right there. I think that is an Anunnaki. It's 80 feet tall. It's like a Titan. I think he's out there scouting. I think he was underneath the surface of the ground and when the guy taking the picture seen it bust out, snapped some shots of it. And uh, looks like a guy with a tank top on. He's got some big arms, you know? But when you, when you zoom in on it seriously, you see the UFOs right there. You can really see these UFOs. Um, they got their own. Some of them got their own light source. Some of them are reflecting from the sun. Also, this is right where the, the you know, the night meets the day. Man. Is the whole thing just fake, or what? Fake moon, fake UFOs, fake Anunnaki. Pasquale's fake in the room. Sarah's fake. Everybody in the chat room is all fake. My channel's fake. We really don't exist. No, seriously, guys, look at this. This is crazy. These are like flying orbs, like jelly orbs or something. Look at this. Not like normal looking. You know, none of us like live on the moon. But this forensic tool, you really get a good uh, glimpse of that 3D look. You know, see how the things are just floating over the ground. They're floating. Now, if you remember the Mars clips, if anybody who was on Facebook has seen Dr. Albers talking about Mars and showing pictures from Russia, <clears throat> you would have seen some rocks floating there, too. These ain't rocks. I, at first, I thought they were rocks. These are not rocks. Now, I don't know if that's Luigi, you know. Hang on. Hang on. That's, that can't be Luigi. No, it's just been confirmed by the producer. Don, that's Luigi, or is that Luigi? Tell me. The producer needs to tell me if this is Luigi. I don't know. <laughs> that's my answer. I don't know. Looks like Luigi jumping rope there right now, but you know, these capsule looking things, they're perfectly shaped. They're tricolor. Um, I've used this tool enough to know that when they have that tricolor like that, some reason they have some kind of energy or light source going on with them. But you know, look at this. This is just a straight up orb right there. So with this uh, forensic tool on this luminous granite, what it does, it actually makes it like a topical map. So if there's light, it separates it. If there's stuff, if you can see the atmosphere in the background in the black, and then you can see these orbs and these rocks or whatever floating. Um, something blow up I mean seriously seriously that looks like a giant person but when you really look at it it looks like stacks of rocks and the guy who gave it to me I said he goes that's too freaky he goes it's just a big blob to me I'm just thinking it's a big blob it looks pretty good as a big blob but you know what is it people I think it's a uh, UFOs I think it's um might be a Titan or maybe an Anunnaki maybe they don't breathe air like we do um you know Go figure. Hey, I didn't know none of this stuff until I came out here, and then I actually find what you guys talk about. Like Roger Paul said on one of his videos last week, he said, you guys, if it wasn't for the little people out here doing the research, what you talk about wouldn't even be real because you'd have nothing to go by. But now, 
because we're going out here doing the leg work and all the, lift, all the heavy lifting, you get to come alongside and say, well, that's that, that's that, that's that. So what is this? You tell me. Comment, chat, thumbs up, um, subscribe if you haven't. But this is some freaky sign and a wonder on the moon. And is, the, is this even the moon? Or is this a Photoshop version of a pasted up moon on what well, some people believe is a dome? You know, come on. It's just too much already. Can't we just go back to Starbucks and get a coffee and forget about all this, right, people? Because you're nuts anyways. It doesn't matter. You're already too far gone. You need Planet X uh, anonymous meetings. Yeah, 